Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, Amateur Radio Call Sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave, and we're going to talk about RFI between computers and radios. Now, the problem, of course, is that we like to use both in our ham shack, but we don't want them to interfere with each other. Now, this is from Don Taylor, K6KGH, who lives in Monroe, Utah. He says, I have a computer by my transceiver, as do I, computer, transceiver, right there. Okay, um, I use it with my pen adapter for waterfall display. I have a little SDR radio right there that will do a very nice pan adapter display. It says, when I have the computer on, it makes noise in my transmitter. Is there any way I can reduce or alleviate this noise? Well, the answer is probably. The way I did it on mine was to separate all the ham radio stuff. See, my computer's down here, and all the cables go that way. And then I've got my computer here, and all the cables associated with the computer are over here. And that fixes it for me because that way I physically separate the elements. Now, if I'm operating a contest, I really would like to have something right here so I can do logging in real time. It just doesn't work to turn and log. So on some contests, I have to log by hand and then put it into the system, which is a pain. I'd rather log in real time. Where does the noise come from in a computer? Okay, your biggest culprit is the power supply. The power supply is a switching power supply for sure. And if it's not properly shielded, in other words, if it's one of those bargains you found somewhere, it will not have the right noise reduction on the leads that are exiting it. So you'd start with your good old ferrite beads, all right? And you snap them around the power input. Also inside the computer, there's a whole bunch of wires coming out of the power supply. They're usually flat uh, cables where all the wires are next to each other. Put a ferrite bead, if you need to scrunch it a little bit, put a ferrite bead around each of those, okay? That takes care of the capacitance. The next biggest problem that you're going to have is with the monitor. There are very high RF signals being sent to your monitor. I am assuming that you have a modern monitor, in other words, a flat panel. Now it's gonna have two wires leading to it, or two cables. One is power and the other is the video. Do your ferrite thing again, okay? Now, last, that brings us to the keyboard. My keyboard that I have here is an old IBM Type 9. This is a real treasure. These are hard to find. And as it turns out, the back of my computer takes the PS2 type computer input. You can put ferrites. In fact, you can see it right there. There's the ferrite for the cable going down into the computer to reduce interference. And I have none, okay? Now you can do other things too. Where your antenna cable goes into the radio, you can put a ferrite bead there because the outside of the antenna acts like a great ante uh, antenna for the computer noise. So you can make that go away, okay? and similarly on other things that may do it. Now, you will probably reach a stage in this process where it's good enough. You want to check it. You would check it ideally with no antenna and then turn your radio up, RF gain all the way, and then the audio frequency gain. And then you can see if you can still hear the computer in your radio when you turn it on. Okay, again, the power supply a lot of computers are not made for limiting noise. Similarly with keyboards, monitors, and so on. This computer right here, my main computer, is in a steel box. A lot of computers are in plastic boxes. 
So you might want to look for a computer that's in a steel box. This one I made for myself. I got a whole bunch of parts under the direction of Brad Rich and 6GR who talked me through putting this computer together. I've had it several years and it is still one hot computer. It really does the job very well. I bought a gaming computer for my assistant to use. It's an HP, high-end HP. There's no noise from that. So can you get it to the point where there's no computer noise in your radio? The answer is yes. Now, how about the other way around? The other way around is radio noise in the computer. I have that problem with the speakers. This is a real cheesy, cheap set of computer speakers. It's got a woofer down there. It's supposed to be 5.1, and it does. Of course, nothing comes over the computer that's 5.1, but so I've got two of the speakers just sitting down there. But you can get radio interference into the computer, which can do so much that it actually causes the computer to, oh, what's the phrase, become unpredictable. In other words, uh, freezes, blue screen of death and all that sort of thing. So you do the same thing. All of these ferrites and stuff like that to help keep the signals away from each other. Try really hard to root all the computer stuff, including the power plug, into a different power plug for the computer. Now they may be on the same circuit of the, in the supply, but just the separation helps, okay? Another thing you have to be careful of with the computer, some components may be a little bit sensitive to large RF voltages. This can happen for microphones, cameras, and so on. And again, the same kind of thing, the ferrite beads. Can a computer coexist with the radio? Yes, absolutely. Your radio is probably better shielded than your computer is, especially if your computer has a plastic case, like some of the new ones do. Most of them have a steel frame, and everything is grounded to that. And that brings me to grounding, which is the last item. Make sure your station is well grounded. Look at Ask Dave 8 for basics on grounding. Also, the book called Grounding and Bonding for the Radio Amateur Second Edition is the one that you want. The second edition is more thorough and brings in more of the National Electric Code. Now, if you look at my Grounding and Bonding video number eight, you'll find reference in there to a Motorola document. And that Motorola document has a chapter plus an appendix on grounding radio systems properly. Okay, so that'll help. So that's our little overview of how to keep these two guys from talking to each other. Again, this computer right here, steel case, higher end components, a nice LG 4K monitor. I'm on my third, I think, I blue two of those, not with the RF. And then the radio is all over here. So what could be simpler, right? It's gonna take trial and error to make that thing work, but you can do it. So don't shy away from it. You can get ferrites from Amazon. You can get a kit full of different sizes of ferrites, the snap-on type from Amazon. Okay, so there you have it. We've taken a look at ways to make your computer and your radio play nice. And good luck with that. Let me know how it comes out. And until we next meet, 73.